contained herniated discs can be a source of agonizing back pain. Intense pain can be felt in and around the affected disc as well as the surrounding areas of the lower back and legs. These discs sandwiched between the spinal vertebra are composed of two parts. A hard protective shell called the annulus and a soft spongy tissue at the center or the nucleus. A healthy disc absorbs shocks and jolts caused by simple everyday movements like running or jumping. If the annular ring or the protective shell of the disc is damaged by injury or by normal aging process, a portion of the shell can give way to pressure from the spongy nucleus causing a bulge outward. This unnatural bulge or herniation causes irritation to surrounding nerve roots in the spine and that in turn results in radiating pain. Decompressing the nucleus of the disc is a proven technique for relieving disc herniation. Disc nucleoplasty is a recent and significant leap forward in disc decompression therapy. Disc nucleoplasty uses a minimally invasive catheter to create an accurate 1 mm pathway into the disc. A micro-engineered alloy transmitter is introduced into the disc. Radio wave signals are then sent through the transmitter into the nucleus. The radio waves produce a low temperature ionized gas that breaks up molecular bonds in the nucleus, dissolving and reducing tissue volume. When the injection procedure is complete, the transmitter is withdrawn. The removal of nucleus tissue relieves pressure on the disc shell, allowing the bulge to recede so the disc no longer irritates the adjacent nerve root. The entire procedure takes 20 to 30 minutes and the patient can walk out of the hospital within an hour. <laughs>